that, you know, people were watching me and feeling that way. So just to be able to be in the industry and come across people like you who aren't assholes, who are people who are just like, you know, they love the craft, they love what they do, and they have no problem personality wise, you know, showing love to other people. It's it's not something that we get all the time. So when you get it, it's like it's amazing. Like I always prepare myself for somebody being an asshole just so hey. I don't snap. Hey. Just so you gotta go into the situation like, okay, so if they act like this, no expectation. you gotta behave yourself. Be regular. You gotta make sure you don't but this, so when you meet somebody in there like it, then it's refreshing because then you're like you've already set yourself up just in case and yeah so when cool it's like see man i just did all that for no reason this was so much this is so nice <laughs> that's that's so real that's my approach too i will say i asked you this on set like you know after working with you i was like oh she's so regular and just so cool but like you told me, but I'd love for you to tell everybody else. Like, what do you? Child stars can be crazy. Like you've been working forever, and you know, I think it obviously came from you wanting to work. But mm -hmm. how did you come across? I mean, yeah, how did you maintain your your regularness all these years? Um, I think because I, I think it's a combination of things. Because my family is, I've always been treated like, oh, that's Kyla. You know what I'm saying? I was never put on a pedestal above anyone else and um and and the way that I looked at acting was like oh I get to do this is my after school thing y'all do drill team y'all do this I get to go to auditions you know and I was in regular school up until high school and I think just just remi just remembering that I'm just I'm a normal person who gets to do an extraordinary job and um um and we're all we're all people you know what i'm saying and and it is difficult for so for the child stars who have gone through so many things this business is crazy like i have to constantly like you said like we prepare ourselves for certain situations just in case i'm not cut off guard and then nowadays it's like now that social media is brought into it it's like it's a whole different dynamic because now it's like i just blocked somebody yesterday for saying something on my page that to me was a negative comment and um i was telling my homegirl i was like was i wrong for blocking them no because we, we come from the era where it's like talk shit get hit like you you're not supposed to just be able to talk shit and hey everybody what you gonna find them like what are you gonna what are you i gonna... don't know but that right so then i'll be <laughs> hesitating like huh that is my favorite thing in the world is you said you do what mute, mute? instead of blocking mute? Now you've gotten this person some attention because in the blogs are going to pick up their negative energy. And then I'm like, Kyla, if you're not spending time to respond to everybody positive on your page, don't give this negative, you know, um, this negative energy, any type of don't feed it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's, it's a combination of knowing, like, I can't drive myself crazy. Um, trying to uh, maintain, making people happy, trying to maintain work and trying to maintain all these different things and just reminding myself that I'm only, I'm a human being and I have a right to feel a certain way. I have a right to be like, like it was hard for me to, when I started having, when I, cause I have my kids, like I'm used to, I had a conversation with my man and he's like, everywhere we go, you stop what you're doing to take pictures or to do this or to do that. And I kind of sat back and was like, I have to make sure that my family is getting yeah. the time that they need from me. Cause at first I'm like, Oh, well they, they, they support me and they watch this. And I guess it comes with the job now. And then, but when I tell people now, I say, you know, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't take pictures when I'm with my children. A lot of people respect it. And a lot of people, I don't get a lot of backlash on it. Cause I remember yeah. one time somebody went online and was like, that bitch, she ran over my kid. And, whoop, whoop, whoop. and I'm like, <laughs> first of all, I would never. <laughs> like, they all like the story. Like, why are you making up story? Why are you lying? Why? So I think, girl. So I think it's just trying to maintain my mental health during this life because this is what I love to do, and so I have to make adjustments whenever things change a little bit, and just trying to remind myself that nobody can drive me crazy and I got to stay sane for the people that's going to really remember me when I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? So 
And but I feel for the child actors who have gone through so because everybody's experienced different things, and I've been blessed enough to not experience some of the things that most of them had have. have. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just when people post um, about my- in the industry, like other child star friends in the industry, you said, do I? Yeah. Um, not really like close friends, but I still have like acquaintances. Um, yeah. and, I, and I have and I, Cheetah Girls type nemesis. You said what? Don't have like a Raven Simone Cheetah Girls type nemesis. N- nah, I don't. I don't play all that. I I let people know. I'm like, look, ain't nobody popping enough to become an enemy. I don't do that enemy stuff. I don't have time for that. Like I spread love, and that's it. If you don't like me, I don't understand why, because I be chilling. You know what I'm saying? But um. But I, yeah, I was talking to somebody recently about that. It's like sometimes you get people in the industry that's looking at you crazy because you competition. And I'm like, girl, I don't have time for this. Uh, you gonna get it or I'm gonna get it. Now I hope you don't get it because something's wrong with you. Because you were me. I don't get it. I hope she get it over there because she was smiling and she was sweet. I love it. <laughs> uh, well, you obviously got a lot of love. Did you get any? Were people in your comments because of how you did? Um, you First your- of all, I saw you write about how you wish your na- you named your character something else because now people are confusing the character with you, right? You said that recently. I did. So say- now I kind of got that energy because people was like yelling at me about how I did you fucked up. And I'm God. like, y'all, it was the kid. That was me. I was in their comments. I was like, why? You- <laughs> I-, I created an account. So- I- <laughs> but girl, but they come and they come in left and right, like y'all raggedy, y'all and left her with the bill. She going through it, and I'm like, damn, I already feel bad. I watched the episode, like I see her crying with her mama. Like I'm sorry, but it wasn't me. It was Dana. <laughs> so they banging on me in my comments, and some of them is like, oh girl, I was so happy to see you, but you a bitch. I'm like, damn. <laughs> uh, my bad. <laughs> so you know I'm getting you know, but I understand that it's because people get so invested in the show, and sometimes I watch shows like that and I get real into it, and I realize that I don't like somebody, and then I'll be like, Kyla, that's not like don't do that. That's they playing a character. That means they doing it well. You did it well. Y'all were some good ass pictures. Yeah, like- and it was. And it, and then it was funny because people was hitting me like, oh, I thought you was uh, I thought you was coming on to be coming on, but now I see you a bitch that had left her with the bill. You can't be on no more episodes. I'm like, first of all, who is this, and why are you stopping the possibilities of my future work? <laughs> like, don't put that negative energy out there. Don't do that to me. <laughs> but people are really like, people really love like I. I've gotten a lot of love as well. You know, like people are just like, they they feel how I felt when I was like, wait, insecure. Like, this is for the culture. I Like, I'll be an extra walking in the background. Like, <laughs> you know, just to be a part. You know what I'm saying? So I was just happy to even to be there. And the girls were so sweet. And so- we went through, I, I had I text them. I'm like, bro, I was like, y'all, we made it through. Because there were so many different things that was going on on that set within those hours. And I was like, we made it. It happened. Everybody had great moments. It was so, like, realistic. Yeah. And, and it was sad because it did feel like you was making new friends. I know. I felt that way, like, when y'all had to leave, too. I was like, I still got more episodes. Lacey, you still need me? Like, <laughs> when y'all finished mad late, I remember I was sleeping in the truck. And- <laughs> Hey, body, y'all, like, y'all done? Y'all, y'all don't want to, like, just chill tomorrow? I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, we done? Ooh. I had already told you, because I, I had stalked you at Revolt that weekend. That's right. I, I, yeah, because I saw we worked together on set, and then I went to Revolt the uh, the next day, and you had a, you did, you did a talk uh, with Melina. And mm-hmm. I was like, so, um, you on my Snapchat, because I was in y'all, I was learning stuff in y'all, in y'all, in y'all thing y'all was talking about. Just let you know, I was, I was with you this weekend. And you was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so nobody wanted to leave you too. <laughs> so, real, for, for people who were watching, what would you have done in that situation? Because I know what I would have done. What? No, I want to know what you would have done. Like, as far as, like, the Don and Dad situation. Because I know everybody was mad that the dream sequence wasn't real. Well, if she had rolled up... So, this is what I would do. I would I would follow y'all for sure. And a lot of people didn't know that when Issa pulled up, th- those weren't the girls. 
Mm-hmm. So, I'm trying to think she punked out, but if she would have punked out anyway, but those weren't the girls. <laughs> <laughs> I would have, one, either thrown water on y'all bitches or some, like, um, some bleach. I would have found something if I saw y'all on the street. Like, I would have thrown shit my car or scared mm-hmm. y'all. I don't run y'all over. I'm very violent. Mm-hmm. Or I would have found out what, what hotel y'all were staying at or where y'all were staying at and then called reinforcements. Because mm-hmm. was, yeah, because you was by yourself. You could have got jumped. Yeah, and I don't know who y'all know, um, even though y'all are from L.A. I mean, y'all were visiting in L.A., uh, but yeah, it, it would be about calling reinforcements. What about yeah, you? I think, it, I mean, it, you said what? What about you? Um, See, that's hard for me because I'm real stranger dangerish, so I don't even know if I would have sat down with them in the first place. I would have been like, I don't know where they from. They can just, mm-mm. I'm real, like, I, I look at every situation. But if I would have, like, randomly sat down and they would have ran out, I probably would have been driving around the area for at least an hour looking for somebody <laughs> while I was calling cousins, while I was calling somebody, because... Urgency, you guys. Come pull up now, please. There's no way you can just let something like that go. It's Especially stupid. with, like, social media nowadays, so you know somebody posting, so now everybody else will know that you got... Like bamboozle, and now other people go think they can bamboozle you because you, you. I feel like y'all were definitely like, we about to get this bitch. Ah, look, look, look. I have. Don't done. nobody do anything right now without taking pictures. It's true. It's true. So maybe I would have got a picture at the table just in case because I'm paranoid. So I would have been like, just in case they do do something, now I got a picture of y'all hoes. Mm-hmm. You would anticipate it and say, okay, something might go down. Click, 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 click. I always think somebody's trying to do something. So that's why you really took pictures on set because you were like, just in case shit go down. Just gotta, in case, I gotta remember who, who, what you do. Okay. Okay. You know. Uh, I feel that. So I have a question. I have a question. Okay. Where did the idea of you talking to your mirror come from? Because I know you like you you be flowing with the mirror, y'all. Like that's. Your mirror is your is your best girlfriend. Like, where did you like? How did you come up with it? Well, it came from uh, listening to Nicki Minaj back in the day. Like, mm-hmm. as a nine, when Nicki used to do the when, when she used to rap like the like that. Yes. <laughs> when she used to rap like what? You got how it. You used to do it. No, not even sure. You got it. You no, it. it was it was jumping. I didn't see. That, I didn't that, hear it. She used to rap like bad white. <laughs> So, like, I used to, like, do her verses in the mirror, but at the same time, I was coming up with this concept for Awkward Black Girl and thought it would be funny to have her rap in the mirror. And I just always liked that element and wanted to bring it to Insecure. And because it was about this character who couldn't be real in the real world, but you're always real with yourself in the bathroom. Like, there's you can't lie to yourself in the mirror. And uh, I just found that funny, and it always fascinated me. And with the season... You got to you get to see Issa's relationship with the mirror progress. Yeah, she becomes you know secure, or um, the more she becomes uh, confident with herself. But I think now it's so important because she doesn't have her girl. She doesn't have yeah. mom, and uh, her mirror is the person she vents to and she talks to, and her her mirror is tired of her bullshit too. But that and but I love that because I feel like we all need to talk to ourselves to get to know ourselves more before we put ourselves like out into the outside world. So that's why I always thought it was super dope because I don't know about anybody else, but I talk to myself in the mirror, and it's usually when I'm telling myself I need to get my shit together. So, so that's like just in the mirror. Do you talk to yourself around the house too? Um, I not all the time. But usually, if I'm talking to myself around the town, I'm try- like I'm trying not to lose it or snap on somebody, and so I have to talk myself down, like out of doing some shit I know I'm not supposed to be doing, or talk or cussing somebody out or speaking to somebody a certain way. I'm trying to think of like the best way to approach the situation. So at that time, yes, me and myself are going back and forth out loud, and my kids think I'm crazy. Okay. But- Hey, like, do your kids say, mommy, are you okay? Or are they just used to it? They, I think they're pretty much used to it. It depends on the tone of how I'm speaking to myself. <laughs> if, <laughs> if it's a certain tone, they're like, mm-mm, mm-mm, <laughs> go get on my iPad. I see the signs. Yeah, they know their mama. They know their mama is trying to, trying to get it together. Uh, 
I love it. Um, <laughs> one of my other questions, because I wrote down a couple of stuff that I wanted to ask you too. A lot. Oh. <laughs> so, I mean, obviously you're like mad professional. You've been on tons and tons and tons of sets. You've worked with tons and tons and tons of actors. Mm -hmm. But like, what's one of the first things that you notice in a newbie where you're like, oh, they, they're not going to make it if they keep doing this? Um, I try to stay in my lane. You know what I mean? Like as far as um, other actors are concerned, because I, I think when I see another actor giving direction to another actor, that's what I'm like. <laughs> that's what cracks me up. That's not for you. You're, you focus on your character. Is the director under your name, producer? No. So the proper etiquette <laughs> is to focus on your, don't give line reads or tell people what they're supposed to be doing. Um, if I'm on a set with someone and I, and I feel like they, um, they're not as experienced or they haven't done something, I might say, Hey, do you mind if I, um, if I talk to you about this part, like just so we can get on the same page if we're in the same scene, because right. it, um, it is about communication, but it's also about how you communicate the things that you want to get across. Um, but you telling me that I need to do something is that's a problem. Because mm. did nobody ask you? That's so real. I, I crack up when I see stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh, well, you know, they're, they're new to set. Or, you know, maybe someone told them to, to do that, set them up. Yeah. Like, but it's, it's definitely the mark of, oh, okay, you just need a little bit more experience. Cause, uh, cause yeah, you need a little bit more experience. But then it's also, I don't want you to come across somebody who's, because um, I'm very... Like I said, I try to find the best way to say things to people, and I don't want you to come across somebody who's gonna really snap at your ass. So I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to <laughs> no for the next one. Yes, I'm like, <laughs> hey, uh, did nobody ask you? Like, don't you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I try not to unless unless you directing or producing, you're not supposed to be directing or producing anything but, but what you have going on over there. So let's focus on what you got to do today let's get them lines right what you got to do and your actions that you have to you know that's pretty much did yeah. you have to check anybody on our set did anybody have to get like did you have any memorable stories about shooting this specific episode uh <laughs> Ooh, you know so I, I, you yeah. know what hey that was a shady <laughs> <black. laughs> no i didn't um no, I think with us, it was like a combination of being tired and a combination of us like all trying not to fangirl over the situation, like in being where we were, because all of us like don't look like that because we like, hey, y'all, it's about to come on. We got to, um, uh -oh. we, about to we about to do a scene. Here she come. Like. <laughs> uh. So uh, with us, I think it was like, I think we kind of. Especially with the other girls, I think we kind of bonded like in a in a in a way that was so quick, where it was just like, "Bitch, shut up!" Like we was able to <laughs> do that to each other. Like we got so comfortable with each other that it was like, "I know the hell you ain't telling me how to say these words," because I couldn't pronounce uh, Rahel's name. That's right. You said Rahel seventy two different ways. First of all, when I came on to set. Cause y'all were already sitting there, and I, my, I was supposed to walk in. It already mm -hmm. felt like, oh, they. Look at them. They look like real friends. It looks like I was really <laughs> joining a group. But mm -hmm. yeah, Rahel was was. And and I feel bad because somebody had tweeted, and I I, I was about to, I I saved her tweet because I wanted to retweet it with the story because that's that's her actual name. And she was like, "Oh my god, I've never seen my name on camera." And I was like, "Girl, I almost butchered your shit." Like, I was like, but <laughs> but I also feel bad because I like my name is Kyla. And it's spelled with four letters, you know, just how Issa is, you know, four letters. And a lot of people try to add, a little, people try to add a, little, the comments. a little A up in there. And I see they'd it. be like, we love you, Kayla. And I'd be like, but you don't there know my name. I get that all the time. Oh, my, like, hey, my favorite one is somebody, somebody came up to me and was like, oh, my God, you're my favorite actress. I love you, Kiki Pratt. And I said, 
I think <laughs> you just combined me. They like half of you. They like half of you. I um, mean, and Kiki cool, so I guess I'll take. Uh, but okay. Have y'all ever worked together? Uh, no, we haven't. No, we I have not worked together, and I love her. I think she wants to see that. Amazing. It that would be, be hilarious. That would Whatever be it is. And Ooh. she is so sweet. She is the sweetest. Like I love her. Oh my goodness. And that and that's what I mean. Like just coming across, especially other black women that are just like, oh, because there's some of them out there where you'd be like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's how you've been this whole time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody knows that you're like that. Nobody yeah. knows. And they'd be mm -hmm. in interviews and I'd be like, <laughs> I know. We're nice today. Okay. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> What was but, oh, oh my goodness, me, I was the only one fucking up the whole time, so uh, I have a line in the, in the, you put it on my page, I have a line in yes. the damn show where I was like, hey, hey, I, there's nobody I would rather have in my, as my bridesmaid, <laughs> and I, I don't know if I was thinking about the Rahel line or what, but I kept going, ain't nobody. <laughs> And then I would forget the rest of the line. So, yeah, the ongoing thing for that night was ain't nobody. Ain't nobody. Ain't like, nobody. Well, I, but I turned, it, like, uh, you know, I like turned into a real state. southern country ain't man. Nobody, ain't nobody I'd, rather I'd rather have as my. Like, I, okay, let's start this over because y'all can't use that. It was, it was bad. But it's okay. It got to I was anticipating the line just so I could laugh. I laughed probably through every time. And then whenever I would see your face. When I whenever I would get through it and I felt as like not super duper country grown ass man, y'all would start laughing and then I'd be like, damn, I thought I said it right. I what is happening? And I was <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> oh man, that shit was that was the best. That was the best. That was our. I think Michael has it on. You posted it on your page. I want to say, or Michael posted it on her page. But that shit was hilarious. It was a. I think it was a video of us in the van. And yeah, like, we had finished, finished the, the first day. day, and ain't nobody. That's horrible. So first of all, Michael put in the camera in your face, and you be like, "I'm I'm happy." Whatever you said, that shit was, it's too close. I'm happy. It was so bright. I'm like, you could see every, <laughs> like, makeup in every pore. I was like, damn, can we do a better angle? But instead of saying that, I just made a joke out of it. Because I've looked crazy it before. Was beautiful. And I will look crazy other times. That's your my skin motto. is so bomb. Girl, your skin is bomb. Thank Girl, you. I'll be, be trying to make it the same hey, color. Yeah. I'm like, did I sleep today? Did it, something. But you just be glowing and shit. It's cool. Girl, I'm a, 